can take you anywhere I could take you home I swear the universe doesn't want me to vlog. I've just edited this and then it was like, oh, I've lost the media for you. So I need to edit it all again, which is friggin' annoying because it's a whole 24 hours worth of footage. And Rory just keeps crying for no reason. I don't know why. Rory really was until I picked him up. Now he's like, oh, I'm fine now. I'm in mum's arms. Normally he's obsessed with himself, but he's just, his eyes are glued at the tailor. Hey guys, Casey again. If you're the person Casey, you're prepared to call me. And I'm doing a vlog. So for the past like three weeks, I have tried to vlog for like a week straight or a few days straight and upload like that but I've came to notice that I do too many things during the day to do that and I never get around to edit and like something that's too much effort so I'm thinking instead doing my like doing a daily vlog that's like 6 o'clock to 6 o'clock like an afternoon until like 24 hour vlog instead and that way I can edit it during the night for the day before and I just feel like that'll be better um the reason I want to start vlogging is I'm really struggling with my mental health I have postpartum depression since after having my son and I'm really insecure and depressed about my weight loss and I want to kind of use this space to keep track of my weight loss journey and also kind of just to look back on in a couple of years possibly and be like okay this was a really hard time for me but I got through it me and Rory have a great bond you know things like that so I kind of just want to record like my day-to-day -day life and me getting through it and also i want to be supportive for you guys if you guys are going through depression or like issues with impulses i'm really bad with my impulses that's my issue i need to learn cbt skills any any kind of person really not even just mums anyone can come and ask questions talk to i feel they can be open and honest and i won't judge that's what i want to be plus i've also been watching cindy cindy Life Plus Cindy, which if you don't know, she's also known as Pleasant Sims. It was a Sims YouTuber I kind of grew up watching. Not grew up, but I watched her in the years that I mostly played The Sims 2 before having my son. And she went through a very traumatic thing recently. She's kind of came out a lot about her mental health issues. And I was really happy to see someone else talk out about their issues. Um, I feel like I'm also crazy <laughs> in the... I am struggling a lot and I feel like vlogging and stuff. Well, the past few weeks I've noticed when I've been doing it, it's been making me feel a lot better. And even though you guys won't see the footage of the past few weeks, I've managed to like mop and hoover my home and go shopping and get out. And I've just overall been more productive. I've just got back from my mum's. I was staying there for a few days um, and I have two letters for me. And I'm really, really hoping that one of them is the one from the therapy place getting back to me because... That is what I need. Please note your assessment appointment detail below will be a video consultation. Also, one of my letters was half opened, so, so I don't know if like John tried to open it because it's like level to the wrong address, I think. And um, I'll say tried to open it, so I don't know. Okay, I'm happy with that. That is good news. So I just need to set. I want to set up my PlayStation because I've been like obsessed with Fortnite. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've been like really obsessed with it. And yeah i've been playing that in my spare time um i'm gonna do some washing tonight and put my washing away i actually have my notebook which i'm gonna go grab now of things that i wanted to do when i got home from my mom so i'm gonna go grab that this is going to be my makeup bag but right now it's a pen bag so for today i wrote down tidy living room tidy kitchen sort washing do a food shop go through my clothes clean bathroom go get a prescription and take my tablet so she's over the next two days because i don't know if i would be home today or tomorrow by the way if you can hear any noises it's already um sucking my dummy He's really going for it. I don't think I will do a food shop today, but that's fine. I have taken my tablet and I will do the other things as the day was well, the night goes on because I normally wait to do the wash until John's going to work so I can actually get into the bedroom and put everything away and stuff like that. Completely done. What did we do with your dummy? So my goal for tonight is stylize his bottles and make him some for tonight and also put this in the dishwasher and kind of just give the kitchen a rough clean right now while he is occupied with the dancing fruits. This is currently my setup for him right now. <laughs> I'm also going to lock my door because um, I just don't like it being open. I'm back home in my kitchen. Do you want to clean the grill or put it away? And he told me that you put the dishes that were in the dishwasher away. But for some sneaky reason, I don't believe him. And I would have been correct. But that's fine. I can deal with that. This is where I'm like, I don't need to get angry. Control your impulses. You don't need to get angry. Okay, I think that's like a good angle. 
can't put this tray in the dishwasher because it's too big. Honestly, I should have got some more dishwasher top on. I don't think I've got anything in my tumble dryer, but I'm gonna check. I have, I've got clean stuff in there. As you can see, the lovely boyfriend of mine doesn't put anything away. But I tried to make goopy carbonara out of my Sims book, but um, yeah, it didn't turn out very well, so. Probably not gonna try and make that again for a while. I did really try, to be fair, but I just, I don't know what I did wrong. I'll tell you what you did wrong. You didn't listen to a single instruction. You didn't listen to the right ingredients. And you added your own ingredients. That's probably where you went wrong, Casey. Just thinking out loud. This is my baby sterilizer. Sterilizer on a Rory's bottle, as you can see, it already has bottles in it from when I was before I went, so I'm gonna re sterilize it again and give the sterilizer a little wipe. So I need to actually clean and give my sterilizer a little rinse out. Because it gets all like burn at the bottom. The liquid gets all like disgusting. So just literally give it like the quickest rinse because I like properly cleaned it the other day or last week. So I don't need to like full on decant it again. Decant. Gradually pour wine, port or another liquid from one container into another, typically in order to separate one segment. mid scale. Not decant. You don't decant a sterilizer. You descale a sterilizer. So um, we're just gonna ignore that moment of silliness right there. I literally stack this like so, put the lid on, and then I put it on top of the sterilizer. Like this. And I had to start and that'll start doing this thing. I have some dishes over here that I could quickly wash, so I'm gonna quickly do that. Just because it looks like taking like two seconds. So I've got pizza grease all over the plate on the shopping board. These are spare bottles, I'm just going to chuck them in a random cupboard. I'm going to put my book away and set up my PlayStation. One of the bits on the back of my PlayStation charger thing has snapped. Oh my god. I don't know how that's happened. It must have done it when I was taking it out of my grand's car. How am I supposed to get that out? Oh. I don't know how that happened and I don't know if I can plug another USB into it. It like full and snapped off. Okay, well it seems to be working with this new cable that I just tried. I thought that the charge of the controllers wasn't working but it turns out this one's just fully charged. I honestly don't know how that happened but it like full on snapped the cable. Look, I'll show you. So when I've been like putting it in my grand's car the lighting's not the best, it's like snapped out of this little bit. Well, now that I've got crisis averted, I am going to play a little bit of Fortnite, I think. As soon as I find my TV controller now. Okay. Now, I'm going to chill and play some Fortnite. Okay, we're going to make Rory's balls. Um, just like two for tonight. Just two, because I don't like making too many. I'm only gonna make three because one of them you'll probably have just now. Or when it goes down. So I'm gonna grab three bottle teats. This is how I make these bottles by the way. You guys probably don't care that much, but I'm sure you anyway. up. And then I grab three bottles. So the kettle up with fresh water, so I'm gonna do that quickly. And I let that boil, and while that's boiling, I get my big jug that I put these in. Okay, now that the kettle's done, I fill these bottles up with eight ounces of boiling water. You know, I like this flickering, my house isn't haunted, that light's just broke. So now that they all have eight ounces of boiling water in them, I also put eight scoops of that one advance in each one. And when all 
the skips are on. I put the lids on and I give them a really good shake. I used to um, <clears throat> put Infocol in Rory's bottles to help him burp and um, just, you know, to stop colic and stuff like that. But honestly, like a couple of weeks ago, he didn't really need it anymore. He doesn't really cry for no reason anymore. There's always a reason you know, why he's crying now. Um, honestly, I don't think he ever really was a colicky baby. But um, he burps on his own and he's quite a sicky baby anyway. So I kind of tended to make him more sick and didn't want that. Now that these are all shaked, I just make sure the lids are back on them properly. And then I go and put them on this jug that's filled up to the appropriate water height to keep these cool. So it's just a big pot of cold water that I put them in. And I only put three or four in at a time, otherwise they'll like fall over. But then I just leave that. 20 minutes ish and they're cooled down and put them in the back of my fridge. In the meantime, I go play more Fortnite because that is literally my life. That's all I do. And he just chills and watches stuff on my laptop. If he's going to bed though, I'll do my little bedtime story because we sleep upstairs. Finally, only took him four months to finally start sleeping upstairs but we got there. Well I ended up falling asleep at like the back of nine or something. I didn't even get drawn out for work. He ended up sleeping in. Um and he came to the studio and was like, why didn't you wake me up for work? And I was just like bleh because I was half asleep and I slept until like half three or something, fed for what at half three or something like that. A bit a bit earlier. And I was like, I can't believe I've slept that long. And I was like, gotta get up and do a few hugs. And then I must have fell back asleep again until like the back of five. And I've been up ever since. It's like just turning 6 a.m. Um, I've already had to actually fix something. He's like sliding out of his chair, the little cutie. Um, but I just got a little victory royale. So John wants me to make him some for tea when he gets in for work, which I will do. But... Oh Polly, we can make chips. Rory's got a little bit of a bottle there. Feed you one of the bottles. Yeah. Yes. And um hopefully Rory will go back to sleep. And I'll go back to sleep too. We go back for sleepies. Oh, I can't believe my hair's a riot. I can't believe I slept that long. I've got a cheeky still be tired. So I thought that Fortnite season two of chapter four came out today, but it doesn't. Chapter 1 just ends today, I think. Or season 1 just ends today. So it doesn't come out actually until Friday morning, which I'm kind of gutting about because I was like, I'm gonna just sacrifice my time for loads of Fortnite, but I guess I'll just do that this weekend because I have nothing else to do. But I was thinking, well, since that's the case, since we're already sleeping right now, I was like, maybe I could just listen to Apple Music, tidy up the living room and stuff like that, and do some washing. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to try and set up the record player. I actually want to buy a record, so I might order one off of Amazon. I'm actually going to open Amazon up right now and check if I can do that. <laughs> really? I don't know. Okay, we're going to ignore that just now. But I feel like I'm gonna clean. Get the loving room. I clean, um, and try and organize some stuff. And also, Rory's awake. But hopefully, he will chill when I play the music.
Dying. It is so warm in here. I've had to open our back door because it's literally so freaking warm. Little teddy my mum got me for my last day. It's very, very cute. It's a little panda because that's my favourite animal. I know, Rory. It's very hot, isn't it? That's why mum has to open the door for five minutes because it's bloody roasting in here. It's cold everywhere else in the house. It's just this room. It's because the like, curtains, when they shut, they like keep heating. Well, that's why you just loving them up a little bit. I've got like stuff to take up the stairs and I've got to take boxes on. What time is it? Three o'clock. Okay, that's what time John was thinking about getting up. So I might give him a phone and see if he's going to. Right, well I think it's room temperature enough in here so I'm going to close up the door now. So I'm going to play Fortnite for a little bit until, uh, until John actually gets up and I'll let Rory watch some programs on my laptop, because why not? Okay, we can hear the washing machines, because the washing machine's on, um, but I've got a couple of little bits that I want to sort in the kitchen, and the kitchen's pretty much clean, so that's what we're doing right now. Um, I want to try and sort out our cupboards, I think, but I'm going to start over here. cupboards are done because in there's in this cupboard that you can't see is like our powder and our like the drawers I could sort out to be fair I think they're fine but these the drawers over there I need to sort out um and things like that but I think I'll probably leave that until the next vlog to be honest because it's almost six o'clock and I said I wanted to do it like the 24 hours six to six also Rory's kicking off so I'm gonna go and deal with that. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to smash that like button and comment down below. Any tips you have for my house, organisation tips, or anything like that you wanna see. Also, anything you guys wanna talk about or want me to talk about openly, or my opinion or anything, just let me know in the comments and subscribe if you're new, because I am gonna be making more vlogs. It's the first time I've ever like kind of attempted to really try and make one. Like I said, I've been trying to do it for the past few weeks, but just too long, I think daily is going to be better. Also, Cindy, if you ever watch this, I hope things get better and I hope everything will be working out. I'm here if you ever need to talk and that goes for anyone. Just shoot me a Twitter DM, <laughs> um, that's all linked in the description. But yeah, any tips, especially like with postpartum depression because it sucks some days. Like, that's why I need to vlog so I can like try and stay happy and try and stay cheery and stuff like that, but it's hard. Hit the notification bell too so you don't miss when a new vlog does come out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. One, two, three, fuck it.